taking the indoor classroom outside to Todd Mission. As students take a step back in time, they have the opportunity to learn some rare crafts, including the art of broom making. I don't paint, I don't draw anything like that, but I have a lot of fun making brooms. Taking broom corn, which is this material, the broom maker pushes on this tension wheel that pulls the twine that keeps the broom together. All the products are natural, even the handle. Turns out they're vines found in nature. You have that beauty involved and you want to carry that beauty over into the brooms. Broom maker Sharon Jackson says there's no better feeling than making a broom in front of interested children. And this is the perfect age for children to bring out their creativity. And who knows, there may be an, another little broom maker in the bunch. I can make my own brooms instead of buying them. One of the favorite parts of the Renaissance Festival experience is getting into the spirit by dressing up in a costume. But if you don't want to go to the extremes, here's an easy and cheaper way to fit into the crowd. You give, pretend you're back in the old days. You get to see how people dress back then. Learning about period clothing and even how a household item is made. Not from a book, but in front of your eyes. Monica Castro, KAGS HD News.